I'm 14 and I don't have my period and I feel really insecure about it. What do I do? Any advice when going through a breakup when he's already got a new girlfriend? I didn't cry I think... though. I didn't cry until like a month ago. Exposing yourself. Who was the first person you told you that you shot your period? This is another thing. There should not be an age on anything. Do you know when each other's on their period? Have you got boyfriends? It's getting closer to midnight. I try to get closer to you. You've got the power to know you're indestructible. Always believe. You can me. go. I don't even know you had that. Come back out. Three, two, wow. Mm -hmm. I love hey. Him. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm here with my sister. Hello. Georgia. J. I. Jai. Jai. She is the face. <laughs> she is the face behind the editing, the posting, the everything. So if it's it wasn't me. for her, I probably wouldn't be doing YouTube. In well, the position I'm in. Often, yeah. In the position I'm in right now. So shout out to Georgia. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Anyways, so today's video, me and Georgia are going to be doing a girl talk and answering your questions you guys have for us. So I'm 15, Georgia's 21. So I thought it's quite a good like age difference to do because obviously like I'm going through more stuff now. <laughs> <laughs> so I can pass that stage. I have got boobs. Can I add? Debatable. <laughs> Debatable. Um, I didn't get them in puberty. So. <laughs> me and Georgia can do it because like, I'm kind of going through teenage problems now. More as she's been through it. But also, you still go through some of them. So. Yeah, of course. And we also did a video like this. I think we've done a few. A few on my channel for sure. But I think we did one on your channel like a year ago. And it did really well. And you guys really liked it. So Georgia we thought we'd do another clout. one. So we're back. Why do you say that? The people want what the people want. Okay? Okay. I'm just wanted on this channel, so hi everybody that wants me. Thank you for wanting me. Go subscribe to me. <laughs> Taking, just joking. Oh. They're all on my phone, by the way. What age is the right time to get a bra? Bra. I don't think there is an age that you should get a bra. If your boobs start developing, you get a bra. Yeah, I feel like. I don't people, think a ten-year-old that's yeah. got no boobs should have a bra. You can get a crop top. I don't think a thirteen-year-old if she's got no boobs should really wear a bra. Let's like, wear a crop top. She can if she wants, but. Yeah, I think when you feel like you start developing something, you need a bit of support, or just you feel like insecure and like you, you feel like cover something's it up. coming and you you're trying to. I feel like when you're young, you just you're like, oh my god, I need to like protect because this is embarrassing. Whereas when you get to like 15, you're like, because you used to say to me, I don't want to get boobs, I'm really scared to get boobs. She used to cry to me about it, and now she's like, eh, eh. Because you to the century, <laughs> but. You didn't even wear bras, you wear like clip things. Yeah, but I think whatever age your boobs start developing, or if you just feel like it, it feels good to wear one, do you know what I mean? But like, I think for me, it was year eight, I started wearing bras. I think I wore them in year seven. Before year seven, the I thing used is, to it's just wear crop top bras, like the little like, you know like the seamless sets from yeah, Primark, yeah, yeah. I'd wear them, which are technically bras, Yeah. but they're not bras in the same sense as like... I don't give you as much support as bras. Yeah, I don't give you the same support. I think, especially like, I don't know about, every, I don't know if this is still a thing, but at primary school I used to get changed in front of boys, so when I started developing boobs, like... I was about year six when I started getting something. I was like, no way do I want to be like taking off my clothes in front of these boys with little boobs. Like, no. So that's when I started wearing like crop tops in year six, I think. Because we used to get changed in the classroom. I think I probably was year six that's when so I started weird. wearing them then. Um, and then year seven, obviously, like even at school in the girls' changing rooms, I wanted to like, I didn't want my boobs hanging out. Do you know no, what I mean? Not yeah. that I had much, but like. But in year five, especially like everyone started wearing bras. And I was like, so I think the hell. But you know, like the really one. soft cotton bras that have genuinely the tiniest amount of padding, but people just wear to cover their nipples. Yeah, it's not really your boobs. You know? Yeah, literally. Do you know what I mean? So like, people just want to cover that. So I think any age. Yeah, we've it, really waffled on about this, but I do think any age. Whatever time's right for you. Um, yeah. Everyone's body develops at different times. You might have boobs in like year four, so you might need to start wearing something then, or you don't need to, but if you wanted to. But yeah. Some people might not even need it till like year eight, but it's more just like a comfort thing of having something there. there I think. Yeah. How to deal with your boyfriend hiding another girl from you? I think Babe, I don't want to be the one to say it, but I think you should reevaluate your boyfriend. I don't think you should have a boyfriend if 
No, I don't think he's going to treat you. Yeah. He obviously doesn't have respect for you, so why would you be with him? I think it's hard to obviously drop someone and like move on. Yeah. But yeah. as soon as you do it, yeah. <laughs> it feels better than it does to be in a situation where you literally feel like almost trapped and like you know he's cheating on you but you don't want to leave him. We don't know he's cheating. Him. If he's hiding something that's just like a red flag isn't it? And oh, like, yeah. if that's you're, cheating if, in my opinion. If you can't just be open about saying you're cheating. If you feel uncomfortable about it and he's not doing anything about it, he's probably not the right person for you. So, oh my god she's literally got her boyfriend in her picture. <laughs> he's ugly anyways you could do better. <laughs> no, don't be rude. Yeah I just think that's a red flag so just be careful. Um, Maybe ask him one more time if he can't give you an answer. Just be like, I don't know if I want to be in a relationship that where you can't even tell me who this girl is or like you're hiding something from me. I feel uncomfortable, so are you going to do something about it? Because if you're not, you're going to lose Give him me. a week if he doesn't. Give him anything. the ultimatum. Give it's him a week. now or F out my life. Sorry, no, PG. Go out my life. Mm. Okay, I'm 14 and I don't have my period and I feel really insecure about it. What do I do? I think there's this whole thing where like you get your period at like year seven, eight, but I know people that have only just got their periods and they're my age, which is year 11, which technically guys, if you don't know like years, cause it could be different schools. 15, 16. 15, 16. Some of my friends have just got their periods more than people get them when they're 11 and 12. I think obviously when you get to like 16, that's when they say you should get checked by a GP. Because it could be... You're 14, like, genuinely, I wouldn't even worry about it. No. Feel blessed. Feel, feel blessed. Because trust me. in, like, four me. years, you'll be like, oh, my God. Why did I I don't think this? you need to worry until you turn... I think if you're hitting 16, 17, and, like, you still don't have like, developing anything. or, like, you feel like I've not got any period, you've not had one, like, sign of a period, then maybe just, like, check with the GP. No, they, but, they say at our school, like, we have these things, it? and they say 16, you should get checked with your doctors but like, I don't think it oh it's my 16th birthday I have an idea I need to go to doctor tomorrow like, yeah 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 when you turn around that age they say to yeah. check but 14 you're fine you've got yeah. some I wouldn't do anything you just gotta wait and it will come yeah don't stress about it but also the more don't you stress about it, the more you think that about you don't it. have it because I would love to not have my period until no. the more you think about it and like stress about it the more like you're probably preventing it like your body's probably like stressed about it so it's not happening so just like don't like try not to think about it too much and it will probably just come when it's ready like you're 14, you've still got like two years to like go. That's a long time, two years, right? Yeah. So don't stress. How to get over a breakup? Um, <laughs> I think like getting over breakups, people deal with it a lot different. Like for me, I think we deal with it quite similar. Yeah. I feel like when we're done with someone, we're done with someone. I give people second chances and then if they break my second chance. No, but chance... we're similar in that sense. Some Sometimes I do that as well, but I think, <laughs> Um, but <laughs> right, just clarify something to me. No, <laughs> you just I'm not clarifying anything. No, literally, I'm not clarifying anything. Like I give people second chances a lot of the time, and not even just relationships. Yeah, but, but some people, too. once you switch, you're, you're switched. Yeah, like yeah, like you get you get to a point where you're just like mm, done. But I feel like you've got to the point with a few people. Like even if you give them the second, third chances, like you still get to a point where you're like. Mm -mm. This is it's not. This isn't working. Yeah. And I think it's very like hard to be like just ignore it, self love, do this, do that. But it's obviously different for everyone. And once you like when you've just broken up with someone, the best thing to do is kind of see what is like making you happy. <laughs> we get great by somebody else. Oh, <laughs> obviously that makes you happy. But <laughs> I think you need to literally give yourself like a day or two to like cry if you need to cry get it out i didn't cry I think, though i didn't cry until like a month ago exposing yourself i don't really care like, I think um we're open on this open. channel babe but i do think like i didn't cry at all like when we first broke up there was not a tear coming from my eye no but i think but people I think deal with I, it differently don't they? that's, that's what i'm saying though no like say. you're saying give it two days to cry if you need it if I you feel like you need to cry cry Get yeah. it out of your system. That's what I'm saying. Get, get rid of it. Gone. Get rid of that that feeling. Especially if someone's really hurt you and you need to get it out of your system. Like, cry. But then, like, day three, you are making that playlist or finding a playlist that makes you, like, I've got one female on my, empowerment. I've got one on my Spotify. You know Ami Shelley's the playlist. I don't think it's called anything. I think it's an emoji because I always like emojis more. Yeah, I've, I've, a playlist always gets me, like, if I've just been crying, like, the next day, I'm like, nope, that's it. No more tears left to cry, babe. No tears left to cry. I think you'll either love it or hate it because it's like rap and stuff. 
You listen to my one, it's called Sad Oh no, do you know my favourite? My favourite one is my gym playlist, but it's not also just gym, I, like, I do listen to it. It's called Gym, and it's on my spot. Can you, but, do, you yeah. do you think you need to block someone though? Yeah. To deal with a breakup? You do? Blocked yeah. on everything? Not necessarily everything, but I think the main way you used to communicate... Get rid of it. The best thing to do is get rid of it, because as soon as you don't, you end up texting them again the next day. No, I don't. I don't. You, you that's why we're different because you're, you're more stubborn. I way think too I, stubborn for that. Babe. I think I'm then stubborn. If I'm speaking to someone again, it's because they've messaged me. No way am I doing that. Yeah. Where we She's me. a bit simpy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even simpy. I didn't know that. I can be. I can either completely. I think you sometimes. Or not. Yeah. If you're like in a vulnerable like mood, then yeah, I'll, you'll then like, I'll just oh. text him back and be like, hi. How are you doing? Okay, guys. We're gonna we, if the camera's moved, it's because we've had to re started because we had no storage what age do you think is the perfect age to have your first kiss this is another thing there should not be an age on anything i think nine years old <laughs> don't i get don't it. think you should have an age if it happens it happens i don't like when people are like yeah i think the perfect age is 13 like no because then people feel pressured so many of my friends haven't kissed anyone. so many of my friends have had such different ages when they had their first kiss and like that was the right time for them or like they weren't in a relationship till they were 16 or i don't know i, I just don't think there should be an age don't if feel it happens like, it happens don't feel like oh my friends all kissed a boy when they were 13 that doesn't mean that you have to do that like if you're 15 now and you haven't done it yet like you might just want that to be more special than them, do you know what I mean? Quite a lot of my friends have kissed like 20 boys, but the ones that haven't, haven't kissed anyone, so. Literally, literally, it doesn't that's, matter. that's the thing at like 16, that age. I think everyone's like everyone's either kissed, kissed like 100 everyone. boys or like one or zero. Or yeah, or they've got like one not secured hundred, boyfriend or they've not kissed anyone and they're literally. waiting for their first kiss. How many kids do you want when you're older and what genders? I want my first kid to be a boy, I want my second kid to be a girl and I want my third kid to be a boy. Really? Mm -hmm. I don't know how many kids I want. I want four probably. So I want like two girls, two boys. I'd like a boy first. I would love to have but two girls, two I'd love girls, a girl first boys. actually. I don't know. I either want one, two or four kids. I don't know. I can't make up my mind. I would love four, but I think I may have three. If I can financially afford four, I probably will. Or if I'm lucky enough to be able to have four, I will. Probably want four. Have you ever liked the same boy? Let's just say we are completely different ages. I fancied her exes, but I don't think George has fancied a 14 year old. I really fancies the boys I like, but yeah. Only because, like, it's not as weird. If I liked a 15 year old, I feel like that's really odd. Yeah. Have you got boyfriends? No. Now's a good time to tell you. <laughs> You're so bad at lying. I'm not lying, I just feel awkward. Anyways, <laughs> no, I haven't got a boyfriend, neither does Georgia. <laughs> okay, next. Feeling left out in a friend group. We both felt like this at some point in life. Oh, yeah. Major big time. Major big time. But... <laughs> but I think the way to get through left out problems and stuff is to genuinely speak about how you feel. If they don't accept it, move on. Find new Boy, friends. Because if they're not going to accept it or feel bad for you or whatever... They're obviously not your friend. Someone that can't like, um, what's the word, like respect your emotions isn't a friend to you. Exactly that. And I think if you feel left out, you like address it once. If they don't make any changes, they're not real friends. Just don't, don't even waste your time trying to like, I don't know. Feeling left out is one of the worst feelings I think as well, don't you? Yeah. Okay, any advice? Yeah, boy. Any advice when going through a breakup when he's already got a new girlfriend? Some people move on weirdly and differently. Mm. Personally, I think it's easier if they've got a girlfriend. Because then you know that they don't love you anymore. Yeah, you're just like, well, you're off limits and you're disgusting, bye. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I agree. Although it's not ideal, like, you're going to feel a bit rubbish because, like, why her, not you? But at the same time... But he's, he's an girl. idiot anyway, do you know what I mean? So why do you want him? Let her have him. Bye. Or her, and if you're a boy watching this, let her have him. You don't need no, her. No, let him have her. Realise that they've moved on you like it should make it easier once you get over the initial mm, it'll make it easier to just like they're off limits so you can go find somebody else do you know what I mean yeah go find someone else that's better than him looks or personality his best friend joking i think both i you need to cannot... go for looks because i go for personality and then they're still idiots so yeah you cannot lie to yourself and say if you don't have an attraction from just their personality no from just their face then i think like 70 percent personality 30 percent looks so like you still no. like you still fancy them 60 40 don't think 30 percent looks it's got to be 40 percent yeah but like that just looks like, you fancy them. like, like looks look though 
Can't really? just be face. It could be height. It could be. No, it me. Oh, oh height, height really bothers me. Short boys have short issues. What's that thing? Small man issues. Small man. <laughs> Small man syndrome. That's it. Yeah. Small boys de definitely have that. <laughs> No, I actually put what money on it. would you say small? Like, how my tall? Height. Yeah, I couldn't go anywhere smaller than me. Or my height. <laughs> I think 40, 50, no, 40, 60. Sorry, I'm dyslexic. What perfume do you recommend? I need a nice one for school. Cheap alternative Ariana Grande. Not cheap, Not that cheap. cheap. But Zara, they do some. Yeah. Zara do but I think they, they're like 12 99 or something. They're really like. Affordable. If you want, like, say, for a present, maybe, and your parents want to spend like a hundred quid on a Dior perfume, then I think Ariana's a really Ariana good one. Ariana does such good perfume. She has many ones now. She's got a new one coming soon as well. So um, she's doing and then do the and body mist now too. And then literally, where's her music app? No she more can't perfume post music, but she'll do make new one makeup song. line and <laughs> song. No, just don't even, because I will stop crying. But I think Ariana Grande is a really good one. And then for a more expensive alternative, the Lancome one you like and I Lancome like. Lancome I Idol. It's yeah. got on the end. I do don't And what's I another say. one I really like? Uh, Miss the Misty Or. I love Misty Or. And Joe Black Manhattan. Opium. Black Opium as well. Hello one. Dior, do nice ones. Christian Dior. Christian Dior. Do you know when each other's on their period? I think I've We're just... Synced. We, we literally sync. Yeah, we are, but we I are, are, me and Scarlett sync too now. Me and Emily have synced periods. Well, I'm due on tomorrow and she's come on today, so we're literally... We have the same cycle, basically, one day apart. But I do think I've got some genuinely long period at the moment, because I'm just always angry at the moment. I'm mean, on a permanent period, so it's really hard to tell when she lets me. It's true. No, I don't know. I d we, we do know, because Period's we share a bathroom. Really like, we can see the... <laughs> No, oh, that really I mean, I get sanitary towels out of the cupboard and put them behind the, like, by the toilet, so I can use them. Yeah. So like, you probably see yours. them and then you'll know they're mine, like, you know I'm on, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not like you look in the, the bin and you're like, oh, she doesn't look very... <laughs> we <laughs> yeah, don't do that, we're not weird. Like, I look in the toilet and see the blood and know she's on or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know when you're on, she don't flush the toilet. <laughs> That's a lie, I used to not do it, but I was <laughs> I used to be well bad. She's still pretty bad. <laughs> when you really like a boy, but they are your friend's ex, what do you do? You don't do. You don't do. You diddly diddly don't. You just don't. No, mm -hmm. don't go there. Off limits. Unless you're like willing to lose a friend over it. And unless you're literally you that desperate. That, you that means you're a bad friend. friend's ex. You're desperate. Thank you. Next. <laughs> Play that, it's so funny. Comparing yourself to others, I think. Do you compare yourself to others? Me? Like, yeah. All the time. Yeah, same. It's, I feel it's like, especially, yeah, I like, no offense to you, but like, your age is different comparing. At my age, it's like, I compare myself a lot to people at the same age as me that are in different situations, like, like jobs, living on their own. Money, things like yeah. that. More than at my age, it's, it's more like looks. looks. Yeah, it's more like how shallow. big your bum is. Yeah. Like things like that. At my age, I'm like, oh, well, she's got a house and a dog and she's only 20 and I'm 21 and I haven't got a house or, well, I've got dogs, but not my own dog. Do you know what I mean? But like, they don't actually matter, but like, it is a bit sad. That yeah, I definitely want to talk more about like comparing. But I just think, like it, if you are comparing yourself to others, you need, like, to think about it, and even yeah, just work on yourself. But also realize that what you see on social media isn't real life. Mm. Like it, it's not. And I will talk more about this in another video because we have not got time to talk about it. Um, uh, are, are you both straight? straight? Yes. yes. Who was the first person you told you that you start your period? One well, my answer, mum. Mum. No, it wasn't. It's your friend. Oh, oh yeah, it was Evie. What is your big three? Sun, moon, and rising. This is the last one. I don't know. Sun, Pisces, Sun, Leo, Moon, Aries, not sure about her. And we're both rising Geminis. And that's the end. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. And make sure to comment down below if you want to see a part two and if you want to see it with Georgia again or someone else. Excuse me. <laughs> Please, Georgia. She needs a clout. No. Anyway, sorry, I'm only joking. I'm Anyways, good night, guys. Love Bye. you all. Make Bye. Make sure to subscribe down below.